Hello everybody, my name is Jamie and welcome back to another day in the bustling downtown metropolis of Gotham City. So yesterday I did some off-screening and I decided that I was really tired of running around trying to find favors from people because, I don't know, I guess they're camera shy and they don't really seem to like to give me things to do while you're watching. So yesterday while I was busy doing some off-screening I decided that I would find some favors to do in advance. And I have some surprises with that a little bit later. But first off... Grizzly Count! Yep, this first favor comes courtesy of Grizzly to our favorite, absolute darling of town, Monique. Yay! That's really ugly. Yeah, Grizzly does not have the best taste of clothing. He sent me this ugly shirt, sends Monique this ugly whatever. I don't know, she looks like a candy. And now we're off to the museum. So yesterday I broke the post office a little bit. I sent like... 16 letters at once, and half of those at least were to the museum. I sent a bunch of fossils, so now I have some fossils for us to donate. But for anybody that doesn't know, when that back shelf in the post office fills up, you can send like six letters at a time, and then Pelly says, Oh, rain, sleet, snow, or hail will deliver what you mail. You leave the building, you see Pete, who's the mailman, fly off, and then when you go back inside, you can mail more letters. So, I mailed about 16 letters yesterday. Half of them were to the museum. I also sent one to Belle because she asked us to do that last episode. And I sent her some fruit because I was hoping to get another, uh, another piece of fruit. And I sent one to Cody because he's my favorite. I think I actually have that one with me right now. I forget. I'll check. So now we can start filling up our museum with something other than bugs. Speaking of bugs, I actually caught another butterfly yesterday too. It's some um, swallowtail something butterfly. You can see it in the inventory right there on the left. It's kind of by the umbrella. I think I also might have donated a cockroach. You know, there's this trick that I try to do where you push the B button and it speeds up the conversation. But for some reason, that doesn't really work with Blathers. I don't know why. So I apologize that this scene takes so long. <laughs> Excellent. I love all the puns with the dinosaur egg. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I guess I'm happy that we could donate something to the museum that Blathers likes a bit better than Bugs. Yeah, so here we have our letter to Cody, or sorry, our response from Cody. I sent him something. I wrote him a really long letter that was variations on I think you're nice and awesome and cool. Oh, I remember, instead of selling that tape deck, I sent it to Cody instead because I figured that I could kind of scam him into sending me a nicer piece of furniture. For those of you that don't know, uh, the longer the, the letter that you write, 
the more likely you are to get a piece of furniture. So, Jamie. Howdy, Jamie. Talk to you later. <laughs> Who starts off a letter like that? I found a lucky bag of kind of weak stuff in my bureau. Let's split it. Nothing else to write. Bye. Your amigo, Cody. Well, at least he's bilingual. Alright, let's see what he gave us. Is it anything good? A uh, birdcage. And what did Monique give us? Yuki figurine? Whatever. I don't really know what they look like. I'll check them out later. Monique, you look like an ugly candy. Actually, let's go take a look at Monique's house while she's here. I wonder what she has, like porcelain cat dolls or something? No. No, I guess this isn't actually so bad. I'm not a fan of all the lovely stuff, though. Lucy? What are, you, what are you doing up here? Your house is not here. Go back home. That's one of the butterflies that I donated to the museum. Off screen. Nope. Not gonna get another one. And grizzly count! Yep, that's right, another grizzly count. Our other favor is from Carmen, the resident bitch whore of town. And apparently Grizzly has her handkerchief, so we're gonna get it back. Oh Grizzly, you sticking your fingers in all of the favor pies. I think at this rate, Grizzly probably owes an apology to basically everyone in town for taking their stuff. Do you have anything to say? Yes! Yes, I love fruit! Yes, I will trade you this butterfly for an apple! Oh my god, I am so excited! This is so great! Oh, this is amazing! Okay, so I keep writing letters to everyone and putting fruit with them because our fruit, our town fruit, is cherries. And when I sell those cherries to- Ooh, money spot! Yeah, so when I sell those cherries to Tom Nook, he pays me a hundred bells for them. But, if you can get fruit from another town, or whatever, just a different kind of fruit, say, apples, which are not cherries for anybody keeping score, you can plant those, and uh, when you collect the fruit from the trees and you sell them to Tom Nook, well, then he gives you 500 bells each instead of only 100 bells, so it's really beneficial to grab these other fruits. I still hate the catchphrase bumpkin. I still hate Carmen, she's really not a nice person. I like that nobody else is confused about getting their own stuff back except for Belle. Oh, thanks. Well, now I feel bad about disliking you a moment ago. Oh, I talked too much? Never mind. Now I don't feel so bad. Free stuff? Free stuff. A rare painting? Wow, I'm really just lucking out today. These these paintings can also be donated to the museum and they're usually pretty hard to find. Uh, I guess you can dig them up, though I'm not so sure. But you can buy them in Tom Nook's shop? But he doesn't really get them that frequently when his shop is as small as it is right now. And even when it's bigger... Oh, I don't know, spoiler, I guess if you didn't know, his store gets bigger over time. But even when a store is bigger, it's pretty rare to get a painting. Oh, Abel sisters. Okay, let's talk to Sable. Let's see what insight she has for us today. Well, I guess you said something. That's improvement. Anyway, 
Yeah, so these paintings are usually pretty hard to find, and I'm really excited that I just found one for free. So we will donate that to the museum, and again, appease blathers by donating something that's not a bug. Um, I'd like to see you try to paint something. I don't think it would be much better. Alright, let's go admire our lovely painting. Which is... here? No. Here? No. Over here? No. Absolutely the last place I'd look. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so another thing that I forgot to mention, or I don't remember if I forgot to mention, but we're pretty close to paying our mortgage off at this point, so I'm just gonna try to sell this stuff to Tom Nook and hope that maybe we get enough money to go make that final mortgage payment. Only 730 bells? That's sad. I don't want to sell this furniture quite yet because I don't really know what it looks like. But I'm gonna go do some off-screening and I'll be right back. I will find something to sell. I'll check out this furniture, see if I want to keep it, which I probably won't. And I'll do whatever I have to to get the rest of the money that we have to get. Okay, and we're back! So I found some things, caught some things, sold some things, and now we're ready to pay off our mortgage! Yay! Here we go, the moment of truth! Yay! And there you have it, now we're one step closer to realizing our inner Bruce Wayne. And on that note, I think I'm gonna end the episode. So my name is Jamie, this has been our eventful day in Gotham, and thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.